Hi, welcome to my channel, Mama Bear Custom Rees. Welcome if you're new and uh, welcome back if you've already subscribed. I'm Rebecca and this is Mama Bear Custom Rees where we make home decor, rees, and I show you how I do it all. So today we're going to be making an Easter carrot cake, a fake cake, not a real cake. Do not eat this. <laughs> so we're going to be using a styrofoam ball. I looked for a round one and I couldn't find one small enough so I'm just going to use the square one. And we're going to use our patch and paint. Um, it's just lightweight spackling. Make sure it's lightweight not the uh, the heavy one. And I'm going to make my cake all white so I'm going to get just some regular white acrylic paint. Um, I'm going to have a little bucket to mix up my paint and I'm going to be using a uh, number one tip, Wilton tip, with a piping bag. And we'll see what little things we add to it. Okay, so I'm gonna get some parchment paper. I've already cut a square where I can just kind of work around on this, okay? So that's going to be what we're gonna use to put our cake on. First, let's get our spackling and it's really soft kind of looks like like whipped cream it does not taste like whipped cream so please do not taste it <laughs> um so we're going to just scoop out i'm using just a little popsicle sticks tongue ah, at the doctor's office sticks and putting them putting the spackling in our bowl. So the spackling, it looks white, but it's not true white. It's like a little bit off of a white, kind of a grayish color to it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of white paint. Not too much because we don't wanna water down our spackling. And we just mix it. Okay, so once our spackle, this is the consistency it has, is mixed with the white, we get our um, piping bag, and I usually have a larger glass, and I just, I don't know where I have mine, so I'm just going to use a solo cup, and I'm just going to put our spackling inside the piping bag, just like I would you bake cakes, you make cupcakes, this is pretty much what you do. We're gonna do that with our spackling, just put it into our piping bag. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our piping bag, and I'm gonna put this aside for just a sec, because we're gonna work on our cake first. So our cake is a styrofoam ball. Uh, well, it's a square. I couldn't find a circle one, so I'm just gonna use this square one. I cut a piece of parchment paper so that um, I can use that to work on top of. So we have our spackling here, the rest of our spackling. And what I'm going to do, put the scissor here so it holds that, is I'm going to get a skewer stick. This is really long, I just don't wanna cut it because I can use it still. And just kind of poke through our cake, make sure it's secure. And I am going to start working on my sides, okay? So I'm gonna get my spackling and I'm just going to rub it on the side of our so styrofoam. I'm just gonna smooth the spackling onto our styrofoam cake, you see? Don't worry if it is not, um, if it is not all the way smooth, we're gonna cover it with, with nuts. That's right, with nuts. <laughs> I'll show you what we're gonna cover it with in just a sec. We're gonna put these cute little nuts all the way around. But first, we just have to put our spackling over the sides of our cake. So we're gonna be working on the side of our cake first, and then we're gonna do 
the top of our cake last. Okay, so you can't really tell, <laughs> but I've actually iced all four sides of our cake. Not the top, but the four sides. And I'm gonna take a little plastic bucket here. And I'm going to put our little nuts on the side. And what I'm gonna be using is this bird and small pet litter. And you can get this at any um, pet supply store, tractor feed store. I think Walmart at one point carried it. I don't know if they still do, um, but it's pretty easy to find um, at pet stores, pet supply stores. So I'm gonna get my nuts in a little bowl here and I'm gonna use this little bowl to kind of pour them on there. And this is why I have my skewer stick so that I can just pour it like this on each side. And I'm gonna pour as much as I want on it. And then just kind of tap it lightly to have it stay. And you can make it as full as you'd like, space it out as much as you'd like, whatever you want the look of it to be. And just kind of tap it. And we're collecting our, um, our pet litter or our nuts here on the side so we can not make a mess and reuse it. See? Okay, so I'm gonna do that on all four sides of my cake. So this is what our cake looks like so far. So I am going to actually, so we're done with our nuts. I'm gonna actually put our cake, which is what I bought this little Easter cake stand for. I'm gonna just put this parchment paper right here. And I am going to carefully take the skewer out from the bottom. and place our cake carefully onto our little Easter cake stand. And I'll trim that paper at the end. So now we need to put our um, topping. So here, I'm just gonna put more of our spackling on top. Now, this is not the best foam. I didn't get the smooth one. So this one is very porous, has a lot of holes. So I'm gonna need more spackling on this type of styrofoam. So if you're getting your styrofoam, if you get a circle or you know whatever shape it is, just be cognizant of how porous the styrofoam is. The more porous it is, the more spackling and the thicker you're gonna have to put your spackling so that you can't see those pores. Just smooth that out. Okay, so here's our cake so far. And I'm gonna get our piping bag with the white spackling and I am going to, I do have parchment paper underneath this so that it can dry on the parchment paper and you can peel it off. Um, parchment paper you can peel off once it's dry from the spackling. And I'm just going to make little dollops on the bottom. all the way around. And if you don't like this size tip or this design tip, use whatever design tip you like. 
I'm keeping it simple. And I'm just gonna give the bottom some dollops. So this is what our cake looks like so far. Now I'm going to do the top and just do the same thing and put little dollops all the way around. So this is our cake so far. Isn't it adorable? So um, I'm gonna add on top, I found these cute little carrots. So I was thinking I could put the carrots on top of our cake. So let's make a dollop, a big dollop. And put our carrot right smack in the middle. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so I'm gonna do that all around. And so this is my Easter cake that I am going to put in my kitchen. I could also put this in my living room over my mantle. Um, but this one's this is gonna go in my coffee bar. <laughs> so if you guys liked this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel, leave me a thumbs up, and um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.